Hey, 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 welcome. If you are new here or welcome back, if you have been here before, I am Freya, this is Budgie Budgets. And today we are going to do a cash on stuffing, our weekly check-in and our budget for the upcoming week. Um, I know you're all wondering, anyone who caught my video yesterday is like, woman, you left us in suspense. Did you or did you not win a car? I did not win a car. Uh, which is really disappointing, let's be honest. Um, yeah, it was quite an experience. It's not what I expected. So my daughter and I had to get up super duper early. We were up at like 4.30 in the morning to get into the city or city way to be there for 5.45 because I start recording this radio show at six o'clock in the morning. Um, however, when we got there, what the terms and conditions had said that they sent to me when they emailed me saying, hey, you're a finalist, um, was that there would be 12 finalists with three alternates. So I was expecting like 15 people, everyone has a guest, 30 people. We got there and there were hundreds of people, um, hundreds of people. <laughs> like, so it turns out that I was not a one in 12 shot to win a car, like the terms and conditions said. I was a one in 100 shot to win a car, which like I would have been significantly less excited about on my video yesterday, had I have known that was the case. Um, but look, that's fine. It was all fun and games. Um, we all had to pick a key at random. And then in groups of 25, we had to try and unlock the car. Uh, so I was in the group that unlocked the car um and then they went through us one by one but i didn't get a chance to try my key so the person the lady that won it she was about um five people ahead of me i think uh and she was there with her three little kids um and you know she said that they desperately needed a car so um yeah that was that was awesome for her not so awesome for us but you know it is what it is at least we got through we went we we worked out what it was all about like I've never been to a radio competition like that before um yeah obviously a bit disappointing when the terms and conditions do not even closely reflect what actually happened on the day and that was really confusing for me like I'm not even sure if I would have bothered going if I knew it was one in 100 <laughs> And I know that sounds silly, um, but the toll that it took on my health, like I'm still recovering because it was just three hours of um, standing on a hard concrete floor and having to get up that early. Like my sleep is like everything for my, for maintaining a good level of health for me. So um, yeah, that's a little bit disappointing, but it is what it is. Um, I will, I shall recover. I need to recover. I have, I have so many, I have so many envelopes to make. Oh my goodness, you guys, you are knocking my socks off uh, with all of your orders. It is nothing short of incredible. So hopefully I will be able to do an Etsy binder stuffing um, maybe this week. Let's see how we go. Anyway, I will stop blabbering and let's get on to some unstuffing. So, oops, sorry. First things first, we are unstuffing phones. So I recharged my son's phone and I have to do my daughter's in about a week. Uh, so we're taking 160 out of there. I just did his for six months because um, I wasn't going to have enough to do both of theirs for the full year. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with my daughter's yet. I might do hers for the full year. Um, but yeah, I didn't quite have enough to do both of them. So I'm going to have to bump this up. Just I would be like, I think $60 short um, by the time mine and my husband's phones are due because then I will need, because now my son's recharge is going to be due at about the same time as ours. So by then, I hope they'll have enough to do mine for the whole year, his for the whole year, and my son's for either the whole year or another six months. So that's 160 out of there. Uh, we are taking 45 out of home. Uh, we emptied that. My husband, we, we did have a second TV in like the, we have like a second living room where our children of, often reside. Um, but the TV was a bit... Um, on the blink, it was just a cheap and nasty one that we got in first place and I was a bit on the blink. So we decided to get rid of it and hubby went and bought some baskets to put on those shelves instead to keep all of our like card games in and the kids vast collection of fidget toys and vast collection of slimes um, so that they are all more easily accessible because the TV really wasn't being used um, often at all anyway. So we are a one TV house now, which I am completely fine with. Uh, so that's all for in there. 
and then we are what else um i might just put this christmas binder out the way we are unstuffing dog treatment and we need what do we need 110 out of there so we'll take 120 and we'll put that 10 back in that finally came out of our account this week uh, so that's just for our dogs like flea tick and worm treatment that they have every month and it's on a three monthly subscription for them to make sure that we always have it um, I have experienced fleas in a dog once before and have absolutely no desire to experience that ever again for the rest of my life because if you think head loss and your children are bad oh my god okay and ten dollars is coming out of family fun which clears that out once again because we have had a lot of fun this holidays we've been very busy um, which is awesome but not so kind on our bank account okay so let's just work out what we've got here oops so we have unstaffed 100 250 that was already in the bank 270 290 310 320 325 out of envelopes this week i am sorry for all of the background noise it is raining here um today so we've got a lot of noise going on in our roof okay uh now that we've done that we might do our buffer challenge is that in here yeah we'll do our roundup challenge and i will definitely for sure speed this up because we've got five dollars forty going there guys we're on the home stretch we have less than ten dollars to go so that is awesome and i will see you in a moment okay so not a whole lot left to go on there and then that hundred dollars will go into our mojo uh, once it's finished which will be absolutely awesome dry 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 wafty wafty okay we'll pop that back in there and then let's get to our weekly check-in we have not done too badly this week you guys um so we are let's have a look this is what we started with last week and i will just zoom you in a smidgen okay so in groceries we added 100 we spent 590 dollars and 18 cents but bear with me i've done a shop today so, and I'm including that in this. So the kids go back to school tomorrow. So I did our weekly grocery shop a little bit early just to make sure I had enough like bread, snacks, like for their lunches and everything. Um, so that, I mean, kind of technically would usually be in next week's shop, not this week's shop. Um, so yeah, I think I feel like we've done well. Uh, so we are down, but only until payday tomorrow. Uh, takeout, we added 70 uh, I'm going to say we spent 70. We didn't quite, we were a little short of that, but I rolled that up into, um, <clears throat> into groceries. Uh, so that's all good. Petrol, we didn't add anything. We didn't spend anything. So we still have $17 in there. Chemist, we added 26 and we spent nothing. So there's nothing in there either. So that is that. And then let's get on to the business of why we're really here, which is our check budget for this week so our income that we are working with for today after rent has been taken out is 1884 anyone who's watching this for the first time I do use all of our actual numbers the only thing that you don't see is how much we pay in rent um, I am thinking about changing that I'm not sure it really matters I'm not sure it really matters if you see everything like does it really matter? I don't really think so. <laughs> um, anyway, we'll see. So in our fixed, we're paying our internet, which has gone up to $89 a month. It used to be 85, which is rude. Uh, our home insurance, 
which is 49. I actually really like them. We're with Allianz for home insurance. Um, I've been with Amy like my whole life, but I changed it to Allianz a couple of years ago because they were a lot cheaper. And then last year, they sent me an email saying that our yearly, um, oh my goodness, premium was due. But they gave me the option to pay it monthly, which most places do but usually they add a surcharge onto it. So normally, like with Amy, if you pay monthly for your car insurance or your home insurance, it ends up being like, I think it's a couple of hundred dollars more across the year for paying monthly instead of yearly. With Allianz, it's literally exactly the same. They literally take the premium, divide it into 12, and that's what you pay. I was really, really impressed with that. I think that was really, and they released it as like a cost of living um, assistance measure. Uh, which I actually, yeah, I actually feel like is really good of them. Um, so I appreciated that. I will be trying to save up so that we can pay the premium annually again in the future, just in case they change their mind and they do start charging more for a, of a monthly payment. Um, but while they're not, I will take it. Uh, $6 for Apple Care, which is insurance for my daughter's iPad. 165 towards the kids swimming uh, this month so that totals 309 which leaves us with 1575 to tally up my kids my older two have their swimming carnival today so that's going to be really exciting uh, to go and watch them compete it's my son's first one it's my daughter's second or third um, so She's a little bit under the weather. She's recovering from a cold. And I did suggest that maybe she might think about not going. And she will absolutely not have a bar of it. <laughs> um, I don't think she's, like, contagious or anything anymore. I just don't want her to be run down when she has to start back at school tomorrow. But never mind. Okay, so over in variables, we have got 750 going into groceries, 100 going into petrol, $40 for Eastlink, which is the toll service that we use uh, when we drive on toll roads. So that got debited from my account last week, which will be driving to and from the Harry Potter um, experience. Chemist is getting 10 and spending is getting 40. So that will be 20 each for me and the hubby. So that totals 945 which leaves us with 630. Then over here, we are putting 375 into cash envelopes. And if you would like to know where that's going, tune in on Wednesday when we will allocate that in our binders. We are putting $40 towards mini Mondays because I'm obsessed. Um, and 50 into other savings challenges so that gives us a total of 465 and that leaves us with 165 and that is our mastercard payment for this month not really next month actually and that wait up oh, mm, try that again that totals 165 which leaves us with zero. And that is our zero-based budgeting system for this week. Um, so hopefully next week will be our bigger, uh, well, it's not going to be very much bigger anymore. It'll be our slightly bigger paycheck of the month um, after the adjustments to child support. Um, hopefully <laughs> that'll be next week. The week after will be our golden paycheck, which I'm super excited about because uh, hopefully we'll be able to stuff some more cash. Woohoo! Um, obviously, like even though it's a golden paycheck, I do work out a lot of our expenses fortnightly or weekly. So like groceries, I work out fortnightly. So that still has to come out of that pay. Same with petrol, um, a few other things. And then all of our like um, envelopes that I stuff every time, like water, electricity, gas, and so on and so on. They are all worked out. Like I've added up what I expect that they will cost us over the year and divided it by the weeks not months so because i've divided by weeks and not months it means that i absolutely still have to stuff them even though it's a golden paycheck so there will be some extra funds in there because i won't have to take rent out of it i will have already covered that in our other paychecks for the month uh and if you are like all of our major bills should be covered by our other paychecks for the month so i shouldn't have to take any of that out of it 
Um, but yeah, it's not going to be like I have a whole golden paycheck to play with. I do still have to take out those regular expenses uh, for us to work out everything across the year. So, um, but yeah, that is what it is. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this has been informative or helpful or at the very least entertaining in some form. Um, if you have enjoyed what you've seen, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe. Hit the bell notification if you want to be annoyed every time I upload a video. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to get to 500 subscribers sooner rather than later so we can do another giveaway or chuck some more freebies down there. I am working on some new products. Um, I'm trying to... I'm trying to get them out uh, as soon as I can. I do have some custom orders going on. As I said at the start, I have a boatload of envelopes to make. So I'm literally working like nine till five. And then after we do dinner and everything, that's in the evening, that's when I'm working on new stuff because <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want my working on new stuff to delay getting out orders. Um, but also I don't want to be releasing anything new because that feels boring. Um, so yes. Thank you again for all of your orders. Thank you for your patience. I know that I have a long processing time. It is just me and I make everything from scratch. Um, so nothing, <laughs> nothing really is pre-made. I make it as it comes in. That's to save on costs because I am still very, very early days in my startup. And um, yeah, to make sure that I'm making everything at the highest quality, like I have really high quality control. So I probably will do a second sale at some point as well, because I do have um, a growing collection of things that are perfectly fine for use. Just I have deemed them not good enough to post out. So it'll be like the, the laminate's a tiny bit foggy, the vinyl's a little bit bubbly. Um, yeah, things things like that, things that really aren't probably really a very big deal um and so i don't want to throw them away because they're not rubbish um but yeah i'll do i will think of some kind of second sale and way to set that up so anyways i will stop blabbering thank you so much for being here with me today hopefully i will see you tomorrow for monday minis Woohoo! um yeah i hope you guys have a brilliant week good luck to everyone who is starting back at school this week i know i'm not looking forward to it um but i'm sure it'll be fine <laughs> okay bye bye